Now, in a nutshell, share gifting transfer the grant making decision or gifting decisions to the grantees. All right. Now, this process is done through a share gifting circle, where the decision making process of the grants are left entirely to the members of the circle, guided by a facilitator. As you would have realized by now, share gifting transforms the dynamics that typically exist in a grant maker grantee relationship which is very often driven by what the grant maker wants. The key changes in gap shifting are empowerment and a change in perspective. Now, in a, get, in a shared gifting circle, members are empowered with a gifting opportunity to grant funds to one another in a reciprocal and collaborative manner. Often, a shared gifting circle is a non-profit's first experience of giving money away instead of receiving them and also seeing things with the eyes of a gifter. And this gives them a whole new perspective on how to achieve the best outcome with the funds available. What then are the expected benefits of shared gifting compared to the traditional grant making model? So I would like to cite some overseas examples to illustrate what goes on in a shared gifting circle. The Women's Capital Collaborative, which is a shared gifting circle launched earlier this year in the USA, uh, gathered 12 social enterprises uh, covering healthcare, education, and social safety. During the share giving circle, participants were invited to read each other's proposals as part of the process of allocating funds. And in addition, one participant introduced another to a potential donor, which is something rather rare in the non-profit world in the USA. And beyond the giving of funds, Participants also share their own media and digital resources created by journalists and collaborated in fundraising activities subsequently. Another share gifting circle, which is the West Oakland Share Gifting Circle, brought about nine non-profits from the sustainable food and agriculture sector. Participants were asked to submit their proposals beyond their current funding priorities. And during the circle, they had the opportunity to fill in their questions from other members. What was fascinating was that some of them even set aside part of their grants to other organizations outside of the circle. Now, such real-life examples highlight the potential benefits that shared gifting may bring when deep, honest, and transparent conversations take place in the shared gifting circles. Members, more often than not, make decisions from an altruistic and holistic perspective, asking themselves what would be the best solution overall to tackle the issue at hand and often setting aside the interest of mandate of the specific organization that they are from. So we believe that benefits of shared gifting will go a long way in strengthening, in strengthening collaboration so that we work together for the greater good beyond mere cost efficiency. Topboard therefore wants to test out this new approach as our social landscape matures, where the solutions often require more complex, uh, where the solutions are more complex and often best conceived through the collaborative efforts of multiple partners in the ecosystem. Now, if the shared gifting approach turns out to be successful, Tobot will hope to launch more, get, um, more, more such circles in other areas, and we also have hope to share our learnings with the wider sector in Singapore that, so that they too can begin uh, setting up shared gifting circles. So for this first ever circle in Singapore, Tobo has set, set aside 2 million over the next three years. The funds will support our first circle, focusing on developing community-based solutions for children and youth and mental health issues. Now following several engagement sessions and research, we have noted that opportunities are present in this space for innovative community solutions, be it from the social, health, arts, sports, and even the technological perspective. So we hope that this shared gifting circle will bring together new partners to build stronger networks and collaboration towards enabling a mentally resilient community in Singapore. In brief, this circle seeks to achieve three outcomes. First, early identification of mental health issues in children and youth. Second, promote, self, uh, promote health seeking behavior and empower children and youth by building on their strengths and resilience. And three, increase accessibility of community-based services to support the recovery process and reduce the impact of mental issues. 
Now, top up funds will be used to support up to 90% of the expenditure on shared gifting projects. And this, is, and this percentage is significantly higher than many of the projects that we normally sponsor. So as part of our learning, we have brought together a team of partners whom I would like to especially mention today. First, we have MPEG as our facilitation partner. We have the team Peter Young, Jim C and Jia Li. In fact, I want to acknowledge that today's program would not be possible without them. Uh, second, we have Eden Strategy Institute and we have uh, Shruti here. Hi. So we will be our impact measurement partner. Now both of these organizations have a strong track record in the non-profit space and will lend their insights and innovation to this new giving model. In addition, with a focus on mental health, the Institute of, Ment the Institute of Mental Health will also lend us research insights during the implementation of the shared gifting projects. So I'm very pleased that uh, Dr. Daniel Fang will be talking to us and also uh, uh, Wayne Moe from AIC. Uh, we are also honored to have RSF fin Social Finance. Uh, they are based in the US, so they are not here today. Uh, they are a leading partner with expertise in shared giving in the US uh, and they, they will be our knowledge partner for this. Um, I also want to acknowledge uh, uh, those who will be sharing their personal experience of their community initiatives. Uh, Ms. Chua Ning Pei, you here? Uh, Ms. Niraj Kotari, I'm uh, sorry, Mr. Mr. Right, sorry. And also uh, John Huang, right? John Huang? Yes, I met you just now. Thank you very much. Um, okay, and uh, uh, right after I finish, Yen Yen from NCSS will be sharing with you the recently launched uh, National Public Education Campaign on uh, uh, Mental Education. Uh, this video is called Beyond the Labor. Uh, Tobot is very proud to be a sponsor and uh, I understand that this video has already garnered more than 1 million hits. Uh, many of you would have seen it, but I think it's always great to sort of watch it again. Right? Okay. So with that, uh, I want to wish all of you a great morning.